good day guys and welcome back to my youtube channel so in this video we will be collecting all the elements and all the relevant details that we need and we'll be storing them inside the, the fixtures folder so let's get right into it so we come here i have decided to revert back to a unique method of identifying the the bank manager login so this is what we have right now so which means it will just do that alone it would only identify the bank manager login button alone so once we've been able to click that the next thing is we need to get all these buttons as well so i'm going to inspect elements by using the option command i button again and um, i'll click on add customers as you can see they have um, here they have common class but they have unique class as well an ng class that has been created for them so i um, can also use this the ng click as well so what i will use is i will use the ng class and um, also add the button tag to it because they are all buttons so i'll say button right and um, because this will be easier to modify i'll just copy this button then add this in square brackets and paste this right let me change this to a single to a single quote instead of a double quote to still be the same thing and um, i will tell you why i'm changing it now so it will be easier for me to save it so all i just need to do is paste that three times and change the value from one to from one to two then to three so i will do this if i change this right now from one to two it picks this and if i change it to three it picks this so it means we can uniquely identify our element that way so two is this let me copy two as well and um let me do that on three as well copy three so we can go into our code and um, the fixture file an example has been created for us we can rename this one or create a new one so let's just rename this one as uh, probably selectors you understand selectors pardon me pardon me spelling so we have this and we can change this to add customer create account And we change this to um, customer list customer, customer list and begin to put those values inside it customer list is the third one right so we paste this right isn't it yes customer list is the third one and uh, the second one here is a uh, customer the create account button which is the second and uh, first one is adding a customer now the reason i changed it to a single quote is now evident because if this had remained double quotes i would have um, a quote issue so it's either i change the inside quote into a single quote or I change the outer quote into a single quote but in this case because it is a JSON representation I can't change the outside quote to a single quote a JSON representation needs a double quote on the outside so that's why I change the inside to it the other alternative I have is leave it the way it was put the quote there and add a backslash to it so which means for the inner quote I'll add, I'll add a backslash to the inner quotes that's the other option I have uh, but i just want to make things easier for myself that was why i um, decided to do this so aside that so we did customer so we need this username we need the first name and the last name and the postcode and the add customer button we need all three all four rather so this is it um it has a different placeholder and it has an ng model 
so i think we have a unique way to identify this as well this also has an engine model that is different and a unique placeholder and uh, also for the postcode it has an engine model as well so i can use the engine model to identify all three of them so we can check here and um, um have um, input right as can see it um so i can just change the values of it then the last one definitely not the list is the button the add customer button here yes so in this case we would use um, button here is a type submit. Let's see the buttons above. If they have a type submit too, no, they do not. So, which means we can use the type submit here. So, let us um, check if we put button, we we'll have four. Oh, okay, we have so many matches, but uh, if we put a type. Submit in it, we have just one match, so this would suffice for our add customer button. Add customer button can be this, so then we'll put the other one as a um, the input and the, the ng model. We'll change that to a single quote as well ourselves that headache so we have this so let's go into there and um, create more so we can say we don't need to we can just copy and paste this and begin to change the name so first name First name field we need to put a comma here first name field then um, last name field so you essentially get the old model or the old uh, at, uh, approach here then the postcode field postcode field you get the approach to the whole thing so what we are going to do by the next video in order not to elongate this video i would have um, gotten all the elements and i would have put them here and also the values that we are going to insert in the element i'm also going to include them here too so um, let me just change the values here properly let me put the proper values first so this one will be input first name and this will be input last name L and this would be input P code or something I'll check it again just now so let's get that build um, the postcode yes post CD okay this becomes OCD. Okay, so with this done, we've been able to get this. And um, in the next video, I would have been able to populate all of this because I don't want this video to take too long. So by uh, so once this is populated, the next video will begin to write our actual commands to start writing, and um, we'll start making efforts to write the actual text. And once we've written the test, we'll now get to the point where we would need to validate what we've written. And um, after that, we will now get into custom commands. If you've gotten this far, please do not forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.